one of the things I love about Downton Abbey is that it's a, it's a show that the whole family can enjoy. We can sit down together and enjoy it, and it's a great hour on Sunday night. My favorite character is Sybil. She is just so beautiful and co so compassionate. And then what did you do to her? So then it was Matthew, and he's just such a warm, understanding guy. What did you do to him? And now I have to find a new character. <laughs> to this screening and celebration of everything Downton Abbey, and it's also a celebration of you, of all of our members and supporters of KQED. First, I want to talk about my costume. I'm not an usher. Everybody thought I was an usher. It's Lord Grantham, and he wore a mess jacket, which is a formal attire for former military personnel. But if you want to think I'm an usher, I am. Sidebirds are mine. I have them all the time. But anyway, so now we get back to Downton Abbey. So, so please welcome person that we call our cook, Mrs. Pat Morris. She and I, people have said sometimes, you two work very well together. Did you have to read together and audition together yeah, yeah. and all of this? And I said, you know, it was complete luck. And the, the, we met on day one of rehearsals. We were called in to do some scenes. And I saw this girl across the hallway. In, I can only describe it as a trailer trash kind of coat. <laughs> and I had exactly the same kind of coat on. And I looked at her and I thought, well, that's Simply. my kind of girl. <laughs> She's divine, and I'll just tell you if you're interested, she's just played the ugly sister, one of the ugly sisters in Kenneth Branagh's new version of Cinderella. Yeah, so we're really grateful. So, oh, so she gets to wear makeup, she's having a red wig, and she's behaving appallingly, and she'll be hilarious. Oh, oh, and very, very different from what she does. Exactly, it's perfect next job. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So, and, and I believe she has a nickname for you? She calls me Telly, Mummy. Telly. I like Telly. <laughs> You know, I love her dearly, and she's, she's always, always on it. There's never a day when Sophie's not quite doing it. She's yeah. really hot. Well, I, and I think that's true for the whole cast. I mean, that's one of the things that's so special, I think, about the show, and I think everyone would agree, is that it just has this feel that everyone's immersed in their character and people feel like they really are their character. But well, you know what we're thrilled about? Yeah. We've been, we, we won the Ensemble Award last year for the Screen Actors Guild Award. Right. Thank you. allowed to have it twice, but you know, last year when that happened, I was in Chicago doing a, a little theatre piece and I couldn't go to the show, but I watched it on TV and actually burst into tears when we got it, because I was so shocked, because look who was in there, there was Breaking Bad, Mad Men, Homeland, I mean, all your best, and I thought, there's no way they're going to give it to us, and then they did. That's great, congratulations. Will you please? KQED. I have to. I have to talk to KQED. Um, anything on the show? Uh, BBC is fabulous acting. I love all the clothes, and it's a fun show to watch the characters. Yes. And yes. it just makes me happy. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for bringing it to Thank us. Thank you for holding Carson. Oh, he's such a good guy.